My main course today is cashew nut roast with marrow curry sauce. This is one of my favourite roasts. The parsnips and cashew nuts blend with all the other ingredients to make a moist, satisfying loaf. I've started already. I've put one tablespoonful of oil in this pan with one small onion, finely chopped, and two cloves of garlic crushed. I'm just going to leave that to sweat a little. And then I'm going to put everything. It's quite another easy recipe. I'm going to put everything into this bowl. In this bowl, I'm going to add eight ounces of cashew nuts, which is 225 grams, uh, four ounces, 110 grams of breadcrumbs. It doesn't matter if they're white, doesn't matter if they're brown. Three medium parsnips. Now, there's three medium parsnips there that have been already cooked and then afterwards they've been mashed with a little bit of butter and um, a little bit of milk just to soften them a little because actually it's these parsnips here that make it really nice and moist and to that I'm going to add a quarter of a pint of vegetable stock and in the vegetable stock I've got one teaspoonful of marmite um, and to this I'm going to add one teaspoonful of fresh rosemary and one teaspoonful of fresh thyme and then I'm going to add one beaten free-range egg and then I'm going to mix all this together. Right, that's mixed. I can't wait to taste this, Jean, because it smells good. Yeah. I mean, even in its raw state, it smells really good, actually. I think that's the... What, what about uh, that? Are you going to do anything yeah, that? I will. Well, I'll add that. If that's, that's Stephen, there, do you want to add that to, to it, it, please? Yeah, while sure. I, um, I'm just going to... OK. I'll well, just pour it all in there, Jean. Yep, pour okay. it in there and I'll... Pour it all in. I think there's some salt in this one. Stir it in, yeah? That's great, yeah. Just let me add this to it. It Stir really, it once around. again, it does need to be well seasoned. And then that just goes in a tin in the oven? When I'm going to... Yeah. You're going to put it in the oven? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I've got the oven okay. heated up. Mm, now I'll brilliant. continue with the mixture I've prepared before, before the break. It's mixed now, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into a, a greased loaf tin. I'm going to preheat the oven to 180, 350 Fahrenheit, gas mark 4. I'm going to cook it in the oven for, a, for an hour until it's firm. Right. Cover it with tin foil. I'll put this in the oven for an hour. And no more than an hour, and then when it's um, cooked, I'll take it out and leave it to cool for ten minutes before I take it out of the tin. So, what have you got in here, Jean? Ah, oh, well, what I've got in there, actually, I've got, um, got tomatoes, mm. onions, yeah. marrow, a bit of curry sauce, and that's virtually it. What it smells fantastic. It, it smells lovely. Very I've got, I'd, I'd like you nice to taste, spicy. I'd like you to taste it, Harry, because I've got a bit of a cold, now, can I be so... Honest? Uh, no. OK. <laughs> but yes, you can. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the, the cashew nut roast I made earlier. I'm going to just slice a couple of pieces, put it on this plate with the... I don't like to use the egg, so I'll just... Is it suitable for home freezing? It's very suitable for freezing, yes. You can individually slice it and wrap it and it will freeze beautifully. So there you have my cashew nut roast with a marrow curry sauce. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> so what do you think of the cashew nut roast? Mm. The texture is really nice and it sort of really brings out, complements the curry. It's beautiful. Do you think that the marrow curry sauce works with it? Yes, definitely. Really as I said before, you could have onion sauce and that's just as nice.